Well, hello there. How are you doing today? You feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me? Well, come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm bringing to you some Christmas outdoor decor hacks, Dollar Tree ones to be exact, that you are going to love. These make adding a little bit of that holiday decor outside a bit easier and they're budget friendly and they really, the outcomes, yeah, they kind of pack a punch. You're gonna love these. Just watch this video, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna quit my gabbin. Let's go see these outdoor hacks. Come on. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. Alrighty, jumping on into these hacks. Dollar Tree has these 15 foot Christmas tree garlands. Yeah, and these light bulb solar lights, Christmas light bulb solar lights. I love these because they have a hanger on them. And I just thought, oh my goodness, these are such a fun size and what a cute, fun, festive outdoor decor piece these would make if strung on the garland. I've got, I guess, a larger gate along the side of my house, which is our utility side of the house. And I've never really even thought about decorating it until I saw these Christmas lights and they're solar, which means I don't have to plug them in. They're going to recharge all night. So my hope is that these are somewhat bright Dollar Tree had them, I want to say, in five different colors, four different colors. They had red, green, blue, and yellow, so four. So I picked up all four. I think I picked up ten total, so three of each, I want to say. And as I hang this garland and wrap it into my wrought iron fence, I'm going to string these lights on there as well, making sure that the top of them is exposed so the sun can charge them. Yeah, I know, right? Enough said. Look at how bright and vibrant these are. I couldn't be happier with the way this turned out. For this next DIY hack, I picked up four of these 18 inch Christmas tree wreath forms. Now, these are pretty sparse. They're $1.25, so you're gonna get what you pay for. But nonetheless, if you open them up and just kind of spread out those branches a bit and placing a second wreath form on top for the bargain price of $2.50, you've just now made a thicker, better 18 inch Christmas tree wreath. Now, when I do this, I'm not gonna use any twine or any extra wire to attach these two. Just by taking the bottom wreath and kind of wrapping some of those branches around, it's gonna attach the two. And there we've got a hack for the bargain price of 250, but we are not done yet. To this wreath form, don't forget, I picked up four of them. I'm gonna add some of these white poinsettias these silk flowers you can find at Dollar Tree right now. The selection of their florals are amazing. They're seasonal florals. And so just by disassembling them and adding these poinsettias to this and maybe some berries, I have just made myself an amazing wreath decor piece for under $5. You can't get a wreath like this for any less than maybe eight to 10. So it is a definite money saver to DIY your own. And I just love that Dollar Tree's florals are not looking cheap anymore, to be honest. In my front, by my front door, I've got this courtyard that has these two columns with lights on it. And I always feel like I need to decorate them. So a good way to do that is just to kind of slip these wreath forms to the base of my lights. 
I live in a windy area, so it's kind of a win-win. They're not gonna blow away. They may get rained on, but that is okay because I spent under $5 for them. So if they only last a couple of seasons, so be it. I also picked up a couple of these pre-made, I guess, bows. These are a sturdier bow because they do have a plastic backing to them and they've got a wire so I can attach them to my lights and easily remove them and look at that. For the bargain price, I guess, of $5 total, I was able to decorate each of these lights and I love what it just does for these lights and it will soon tie into my front door in a minute. For this next hack, I picked up six of these square wire wreath forms. Now this hack and DIY is all over TikTok and I had to recreate it, putting my own rustic spin and twist on it. I'm gonna start off by attaching four of these wreath forms side by side using yeah, zip ties, that's all you need. You can find those in the tool section at Dollar Tree. Because I attached four, there's gonna be two middle squares, right? Pick either one and you're gonna attach another wreath form to the bottom of that square and to the top. By attaching these wreath forms the way I just did, when I fold in all of these square wreath forms, I will have then created a box. Once I hold them up, I am going to attach the sides together again with more of those zip ties. Now don't forget to cut those tails off your zip ties, giving this a cleaner look, taking away the clutter that will happen from using so many, yeah, zip ties. And this is pretty much what you should be left with. This is a great video footage shot. I am doing great with my filming skills these days, but you've got the idea. Then just by wrapping the wreath form box with lights and twine, adding a burlap and red bow to it, I have just made a fun, festive, rustic Christmas present porch decor piece that I am absolutely in love with. Quick, easy, and budget friendly. For this jaw dropping hack, you're gonna need a broomstick that you can get from Dollar Tree. Here on the top, this plastic part, it just pulls right off and we're gonna do away with that because we don't need it. We're also gonna need a solar light, the pick for it. I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna do away with that too. You can get these solar lights at Walmart year round for a dollar or two. A lot of times you can find them at Dollar Tree as well. I'm gonna place some hot glue on the base of, I guess, the solar light and I'm gonna place my broomstick handle on the light itself just as you see me doing here. This really is just to kind of keep the solar light from sliding around and I did choose to kind of reinforce it a bit more with hot glue right along the sides before I went in with a thicker zip tie to hold them in place. Dollar Tree has a wide variety of zip ties and so yeah I went with a thicker one and I'm going to place two here as tight as I can get it just to really keep that light attached to the broomstick handle. To cover up where I attached the light to the broomstick handle, I made this burlap and red bow. I actually made several of these because they are so easy to make and when you buy a roll of burlap and a roll of ribbon, you can make several bows out of it, saving you a ton of money and keeping with a theme. Once I put the bow, I realized that those zip ties were showing, so I figured, heck, I've got a couple left of these white poinsettias. These would be perfect to attach right here, covering up my attachment and the mess. Let's go take a look at this. Yeah, you place this in the ground and look at how beautiful this lantern is. This is such a fun hack, and at night it illuminates beautifully. Do several of these, put them up. Oh my word, people are going to love them. Want to know where you got them. 
I always hate taking down my fall and harvest decor because I feel like it doesn't really get the chance to be up as long as it deserves to be up because I do do Halloween porch decor. As soon as Halloween is over, I throw up my fall and harvest decor and it feels like it's only up for maybe two or three weeks before I have to do away with it and put up my Christmas decor. I decided to keep it simple this year just with everything going on. I don't know where we're going to be in January and taking it all down might be more of a task than I'm up for, but I still wanted to bring that Christmas feel to the front yard. Let's take a look. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Joanne, who's bringing to us her DIYs using the round wood plaques. Joanne, I love this silent night plaque. Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links, yep, in the description box below. That light garland, it's fun, right? Such a fun way to use those solar lights in places where, say, you don't have an outlet for a plug. The lantern, super cute using, yeah, a broomstick. I love it. All of these DIYs are super budget friendly and the outcome really packs a punch. And I think that there's something easy that you can add outside and people are gonna walk by your house or delivery people and they're gonna look at them and be like, wow, that's really cute. Yeah, cause they will. I hope you all enjoyed today's Dollar Tree outdoor decor, holiday Christmas decor hacks on a budget. Yeah, that. If you're looking for some DIY inspiration, well, guess what? I do, I have you covered. Just click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, happy decorating on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. But most of all, you know what I'm gonna say, stay positive. Awesome.